But these are keys I just gave you. Amen. You have power to lay it down, and you have power to get up. If the testator is a lie, the covenant is a none effect. But if the covenant, if the testator dies, then he has the power. You want to tap into power? Fast, go ahead, fast. Fast, go ahead, go to a conference. Let somebody lay hands on you. These are principles that you can't bypass. Amen. The Bible already said that when we received the Holy Ghost in 1 and 8, it said after the Holy Ghost comes upon you, you're going to receive power and you're going to be witnesses. And if you look that up, I'm just, I'm going to know over there. The word witness is not you going to tell somebody about God's goodness. It's mortar. It means when you get baptized in the Holy Spirit, death sets in. You become a mortar. That's why folks don't like churches like this. Because they can smell death. That, that message is going to come on. Oh, I want some fragrance of life. That, that, I'm not talking about a dying church. I'm talking about, man, uh oh, I'm getting closer. It's about to be over. <laughs> oh yeah, if I keep listening to that crazy dude, all of a sudden I'm gonna come back and dance smack in the middle between death and life. Because I got news for you, when you get around real prophets, they carry two things. They carry a death sentence and a life certificate. Yes. Yes. A birth certificate. Two things you get into the earth. You need a birth certificate and a death certificate. A death certificate. When you get around a pro prophet, that's what they care. Life as you have known it. <laughs> okay. I don't know where to go. <laughs> oh, I got a whole lot of time. So I just, I, I felt this. I felt I needed to share it with you to let you know that God has us, all, we're all in the same room. Yes, He's no respect of a person. Come on. So what's required of me as it relates to salvation, as it relates to growth and maturity, I know the graces, the gift, the anointing, it's not, it's not one size at all, but part of it's going to bring me to maturation. Yeah, yeah, it's going to, yeah, it's one size at all. Everybody gets it. There's no escape clause and no short circuits, no shortcuts, none of that. All right? So I promised you last week I only got 25 minutes to do it. We're going to look at tradition. 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 Say your name of tradition. tradition. See, we're going, to, we're going to look at tradition first. Then we're going to come back and look at some of the thoughts I got on religion. But tradition to me is the strong man. The strong man in the church is tradition. Not the devil. Traditions. And I told you traditions is what? Y'all remember what I told you about tradition? It's things that have been transmitted to us, given to us. Be it verbal or written form. Somebody has transposed their own ideologies and put it in a safekeeping called the church. And then once you get a set of people that believe a certain way, then all of a sudden anything that don't look like what I heard, that ain't God. Yeah. So it looked like that you go hand it down, give up, and all this good things. So those instructions come, and then when somebody doesn't necessarily fit our own personal description, we disqualify them. Mm -hmm. I was talking to one of the leaders yesterday. We've been disqualified in this region a long time. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm, I'm good with it. Be honest with you, I already know it. And you know what? I'm good with reconciliation too. I love to be among my brothers and sisters. We we come from the same we come from the same cloth. We just got different expressions. That's mm -hmm. so I would love to be able to sit with apostles and prophets to be able to be real. Even I told them one time, matter of fact, yeah. I went to a meeting and they they wanted to do some things in the city because the crime was whatever was you know was bad. And um, I had a chance to sit in and I just told them, I told them, yeah. I said, let me tell you. And the person that I was talking about was two rows in front of me. I didn't say their name, but I told them about the incident. I said, how are we going to do something collectively as a unit 
And people stop at other people who come over to their church. I asked somebody to come down to the church to make sure that, the, that they people were going to come. I ain't never did anything like that. Ever. All I ask you, when we open, be with us. That's it. Yes, sir. But they, I said, nah, we ain't going to, y'all talking about dealing with principalities and powers and creating intercessory teams, and we're just going to continue to monetize what we've done and monopolize the, the, the stuff we've always done. Yeah. Just keep doing it. It's going through the same cycle and not getting to the crux of everything. And we got leaders that don't trust each other. Right. And we're going to bring people to, together that don't trust one another. Right. Because more than likely, in private or in the pulpit, we're going to say certain things about one another. Right. And so we can say certain things publicly, just like I'm going to do it publicly, because I don't want to be the person that causes your head to turn on somebody. I don't want to be a sore discord. Right. Right. And you see somebody be like, oh yeah, and all you, when you look at the first thing you look at it, you remember what I said. Right. <laughs> about that person. Anybody been around people like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, come on now. Yeah. The suspicion of a third party. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so I try to avoid it. Much as possible. Now I mean talking about leaders a little different. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to get to the point where we're not so territorial. And traditions and and our spiritual acumen and our religious pedigrees and everything we've been exposed to and what people and other men come and re reinforce it so we keep uh, doing the same things. You get what I'm saying? Y'all understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So tradition won't allow you to adapt and adjust your thinking and your psyche. Yeah, take that down because they're looking at it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we got to get to the point to understand that we don't, <clears throat> there's good tradition, there's some things that help create a culture to make sure that the body of that assembly, because most churches, if you're not in a denomination, you're, you, you are autonomous, amen, and that means that you're, you know, you, you don't have, you, you do, it's self-supported from inside, okay? But we need to know that we can't allow this strong man, this power base for religion, to keep enslaving us. Yes. Even at a church that has liberty as this house. Yes. Even though this church is progressive in its tone, in its temperament, we can still be infected by tradition. Yes. You can always have a conflict in your ability to conceive the instruction that God has given. That's when you know that you have been enslaved by tradition. I've seen people, I've heard people, I've heard people come here and say, I love the teaching, and then when I start dealing with eschatology, we had a group that came in some years ago, they was excited, I mean, they were going home, it was lit up like a Christmas tree, they were shining. But once I hit the sacred cow, the elephant in the room, the golden child, I got to go. That ain't how I've been taught. I've been in church 28 years. And, you know, there's a, there's a payday coming from God. Because that's what eschatology is. Y'all don't know you know that, right? That God is going, he's up there, he's pissed off, he's getting mad. And he's waiting to things get to a certain height. And then he's going to split the skies and burn, burn up everything. With fiery judgment. But we got to make sure at this assembly, I cannot... Uh, patrol other houses. I can't police other houses, but I can somehow try to lead this house and bring us into a representation that is true as according to scriptures, right? Amen. So tradition itself is the strong man, the power base for religion. And so we need to know what it is, right? Amen. Because the word, the, the word tradition also is connected with the Antichrist spirit of something people use as a substitute for a real relationship with God. Mm. We'll say that again. Tradition itself is connected with the Antichrist spirit because it's instead of, right? Mm -hmm. That's what Antichrist, instead of the anointing, instead of the original design, the pattern of something people use as a substitute for a real relationship with God. 
You can use knowledge as a substitute. Just because you know things don't mean you're close to God. True. Sure. We'll talk about that later, dealing with religion. Knowledgeable people. I know some people that are knowledgeable but can't live anything. You know what I'm saying? They can go through scriptures, they kind of swords and everything, but their life don't match what they know. Got news for those people. And I got news for anybody that's here. Hopefully not. There's nobody here. God only assess what he chooses. Y'all missed that one. God only accepts what he chooses. That's what Cain got in trouble with. Remember? He knew better. Instead, he worried about Abel. You don't receive it out of anyway. <laughs> Remember, that's what he said. I gave you what I had. <laughs> yeah, right. He didn't get. He didn't get what God chose, and that was that was a less sacrifice. And that's what we do. And we do it all the time, right? God wants time for us. He wants to spend time with you. And you say, well, I'll give you 10 of the 30. I know you want 30, but I'll give you something. It just, you know, makes me feel religious. Or well, you come to the house of God, and then, you know, you're supposed to give a certain amount, and you give a tip. That's the same thing, y'all. It's still a form of tradition. Some people can't get past. Some people still try to say, well, I'm having a hard time with tithing. No, no, you ain't having a hard time with tithing. You tithe all the time. Mm. You spend 10% on a lot of stuff. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You look at the check and then look at the hair. <laughs> look at the 